welcome back to the shed. Well, it was all going so well. Uh, two bolts left to take out of the frame, that obviously mount into the engine, one that goes straight through, and one which is on a mounting bolt on the other side of the frame, on the right hand side of the frame. They were proving to be a little bit stubborn to move, so I used pretty much a whole can of penetrating spray, in fact different penetrating sprays, rust remover, WD-40, just about everything I could to get it to the point where it wanted to move. Obviously at some point you're going to have to apply enough torque on the torque wrench to get it off, and it's a case of just hoping that the spray does its job and it actually works loose. However, that isn't what happened, and I thought that the nut might shear, and it did. So now I'm left with a bolt inside the frame. But we're not going to worry about that for the minute, we're going to remain positive. Um, so there's two bolts left to take out still, proving to be a little bit tricky. So. We'll have a look at the damage, see what's been done, or rather than look at the damage, we'll look at what's been achieved so far. Hello and welcome to the shed. Another quick video on the XJ600. Um, I want to get the engine block out today and this airbox, um, I think, is going to get in the way. And whether it does or whether it doesn't, um, I'm going to take the carb, um, the carbs off and pull them this way they should just hopefully slide out because this box will only go that way so the air box won't come out that way as you can see it's restricted by the frame and it can't be um, it's not actually in two parts so I'm going to take these carbs off and slide them this way and we're going to give that a go and uh, hopefully then I can get the air box out right let's give it a go I managed to get the, um, the bolts out of the engine block for the carb so um, I just I just want to check the threads because some of them are a little bit awkward to get out um, so I've just chucked a bit of degrease in there just to get all the crap off them but um, no, they look alright um, obviously really tight to get them out a bit restricted in that bloody air box not designed to be done that way around, but there we are. Mm -hmm. So, we'll have a look at these quick. Before I can have a sandwich and a beer, before I carry on. Um, 
Let's have a look. So pretty good. Don't need to check them all for, on the camera for you, but uh, they look all right. Not too bad at all. Yeah, they'll do. As I say, I was a bit worried because one of them, one or two of them felt like they were cross-threaded a bit, but no, happy days. Okay, so uh, all the bolts are now out of the carbs. I'm going to try and pull the carbs this way. Um, it's just so I can get the airbox out. Um, it was an absolute nightmare getting them bolts out. Um, just because of how difficult it is, as I'm sure a lot of you know, getting in there and, and getting them out. So let's give it a go and um, see how we get on. So this is the condition of the uh, engine block. Now the carbs have been taken off. Look at that. It's a little rusty. It's a little rusty. It's a little rusty. Nice. Let's have a look at the carbs. That socket hasn't got a deep enough throat on it, which I would have thought would have worked. So, good job I bought these, which are ideal, specifically for motorbike. Do you know what? They were really cheap as well, off eBay. Um, you get a set of, from 10mm up to... 32 mil. I can't remember what they were called now, but I might put the link in the description because they are absolutely ideal. Bob on.
Jane Grace and Dirt and Rose. I've actually cleaned some of the gunk out of that to stop it falling on the floor. You wouldn't even believe it, would you? Look at the state of that. Years of gunk. So, I can't get the engine out today because I'm going to have to drill that bolt out or look at another way of getting it out. Um, so I'm just going to clean the carbs or start to clean them. I'm not going to give the carbs an overhaul today because there's some other um, there's some replacement parts that I want for it. But I'm going to give it a spray and give it a clean up and get all the crap off it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use just one of these, I suppose it's like a little decorator's scraper, it's just a, a Stanley blade. And the reason I'm using that, for obvious reasons, I'm sure you all know, is because it's wider than the outlet. If I use a flathead screwdriver, obviously I've got the risk of breaking the gasket up, but I've also got the risk of scratching the face on here as well. And that's what I don't want to do. So really gently, I just want to use this to get underneath it to loosen it. And that way, because it's flat, I'm not scraping or interfering with any other part. So there we go. I was talking about fatigue and sheer stress and all the rest of it in the video. So that's um, that's lovely. Just focus. So that's the sheared nut. So that's the bottom of the frame. And I hope you can see that the light's not brilliant, but that there is where we've sheared from so that's going to be interesting over the next few days have a look at that, the light isn't very good there but that's basically what we're looking at right there you little beauty okay so I need a rebuild kit for the carbs don't look in too bad condition uh, I've been lucky to get this far really with one issue, but it's a bit of a pain, a sheared nut despite my best efforts, but there we go. Thanks for watching. See you soon.